exercise is called diaphragm breathing. Uh, we're basically trying to get people to breathe more in their diaphragm and not with their upper chest. A lot of people are breathing a lot up here, which becomes problematic because you use all these muscles when you're breathing from your chest, which can make them tight and cause a lot of pain in the upper neck or cervical. But the other reason is if you're not diaphragm breathing, you're not opening up all the nerves that feed down here. And there's a lot of things that the diaphragm is connected to um, nerve-wise in the low back and the pelvis. Um, and so we always want to be breathing as much as we can in the diaphragm. Um, we can get lots more air in. It's much better for um, preventing neck tightness and lots of other benefits. So this is a great thing to practice. A lot of people are not good at it. It's just because their brain doesn't understand how to do it. And you can, you can teach this to yourself fairly simply in a couple weeks. So you're going to put one hand on your lower stomach and one hand on your upper chest. Lie flat with your legs flat. You're going to breathe in through your nose, deep, and out through your mouth. And you just want to have this hand only move. And what, what I tell clients is we want to try and get fat while you're doing it. The stomach will just get really big, and sometimes people can cue this hand moving by trying to get fat. So you don't want this hand to move at all. If it does, it's very minimal, and it's at the very end of the breathing. Um, you can practice this even sitting if you'd like. It's a lot easier when you're lying down. Uh, if you have real trouble doing this, to only practice it in short bursts because you can have people have hyperventilated before just trying to do this for too long. So just practice it as much as you can. Um, and once you feel like you've got a really good control of it, um, you'll notice that it makes a lot of beneficial changes for you.